Mark Knopfler comes up with some of the greatest stuff, or has, and still does, of all time. This is, of course, Expresso Love from uh, their 1980 album, Making Movies. I was just listening to this the other day, and it, with it's, it's early January here as I'm doing this, and I have been meaning to do this one for years. One of my New Year's resolutions, get back to more Dire Straits. So here it is. We're going to take a look at Expresso Love. Now, it has, there's a few different things. We're not going to look at the lead. I've got some of the lead in the chart that I put together, uh, or in the tab. But uh, we're mostly going to talk about the rhythm guitar parts. There are three sections. Well, if we count the intro. There are three sections not counting the intro. And the important thing with all of them is accenting the right beats. Is getting the, the accent in particular on the and of beat two. Now we're going to be talking about doing this with steady pounding downs and also with a little bit more relaxed single time strumming. And this is something that Mark does usually at the beginning of the song. He starts with the more driving pounding kind of stuff, but as he gets into the singing of it, kind of mixes it up just to um, save a, conserve a little energy, uh, because this song can, can wear you out. Um, so that's going to be the riff we'll talk about in the verse. The chorus is really just strumming some chords, and we might talk about, if I remember as I get into this, little double time taps. Just a, a quick little pair of sixteenths thrown in at the ends of measures. We'll also talk about the bridge that is just uh, some normal chords too. We have a lot of bar chords in here, and we've got, and you really got to be able to play your A family of chords, and even the E variation of the, of the double bar, hinge bar chord, which we'll talk about in just a minute. We'll, we'll, we'll look at the left hand and the chords and what's going on first, then we'll talk about the right hand, then we'll run through the progression, and by the time this is all over, you should be able to rock out with Mark and the gang and play along with Expresso Love. Well, that was the first segment of a lesson I put together on, of course, this really cool tune, Espresso Love. Now, in it we talk about playing it double time, constant downs, and getting accents in the right places, and playing it single time as well. We look at the three different parts, the verse, the chorus, the bridge, uh, not really so much the lead. The lead is pretty fun, anyway, but not part of the lesson. Uh, we tend to stay with rhythm guitar parts and stuff like that at Totally Guitars. So this lesson is up at Totally Guitars. If you'd like to check it out, there are a few other Dire Straits lessons there, uh, particularly Romeo and Juliet, and at least the rhythm parts, the Sultans of Swing. Um, there are hundreds and hundreds of songs there, and they're all part of what we call the Target Program, which is our monthly subscription plan. They're also available as individual purchases and some are available in packs if you like to take a look at stuff like that. We have a lot of free lessons, over 60 free lessons to kind of get you started too. This one's a little bit more advanced so hopefully you got, if you're an intermediate guitar player you can probably tackle this, not quite ready for beginners. But um, all this stuff is at Totally Guitars along with all the free stuff and the Target program is where we've got the hundreds and hundreds of songs and techniques and theory lessons and stuff like that. So I encourage you to come check it out when you can and pick up a few of the tips that we have there.